Hi fellow makeup fans, I'm just going to do a very 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 tiny little haul for you right now. A few things that I picked up, I know a lot of people have been talking about this particular thing. Um, it's new from the MUA brand. I'm lucky enough that my local superdrug now has that brand in. They used to always have the MUA but not the MUA professional because I think that's what this brand is called. Um, but this is the Love Hearts range. This one is called Sweet Kisses. This is the only one I really like. There was like a red one, a nude one, and then a pink one. But the colour payoff on them is nothing really. These don't really have a colour payoff. So I didn't see the point in getting all four when really one will do the job because it's really just a lip balm at the end of the day. I like this colour though. Um, it's got quite a nice smell. It's very sweet smelling, but the, the coral colour totally drew me in. And of course, I. I like the lid on that one best anyway. So that one's Sweet Kiss. Um, I've also got, if I can quickly find it, Whiskey. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner. I've been wanting this for ages. Uh, it's a lovely brown colour. It was actually available as a two-ended pencil with the original release of the Naked Palette. I actually missed out on that and I was supposed to be getting this from somebody else but it didn't come through so I actually was able to get the full-sized one. And I actually got this from America. Uh, the seller who I got this off no longer has any of these available but I have put a link on my recent face of the day video for February the 13th for another supplier where you can get them um, and with the postage in it's about the same price you would pay over here for one of these brand new anyway. The thing about whiskey is it's a beautiful warm brown. I can't really do any swatches for you to be honest in such bad light in fairness um, but it really is a lovely chocolate brown colour it's really nice and I absolutely love the 24-7 eyeliners so I picked that up and then I've got a couple of cream blushes I'm really really loving cream blushes at the moment I've got quite a few um, that I hadn't been using I got the Topshop ones a while ago I think I may have had them in a haul I got flush and neon rose um, and these are really pretty colours but I've always been quite nervous of them I didn't like putting them on with my fingers but I've had this stippling brush forever and I actually got it for use of the foundation and did not like using it for foundation but this is absolutely fantastic for cream blushes as you can see I've been using that um, it's fantastic I've got one on today the one I've got on today actually is um, a gosh one as well and that's the one there this is actually in the current collection so you can actually still get this one and it's called Peachy Rush and that is what it's like. It's a really lovely warm peach, quite dark really but as you can see it's really lovely on the cheeks, it's a really lovely colour. Um, also from that collection um, I've got this one which is Lusty Pink. And this one looks actually quite scary but when you do put on a cream blush, if you do stipple it on you don't get this super bright scary colour. So those are the two that I already had and I had the Topshop ones and as you know I recently got a number 17 one. Um, but then today I was in Superdrug and they had some Gosh Cosmetics on sale and they had two cream blushes. Now this is from the old range because the packaging on these is different. This is the newer Slim packaging and that is the old one. As you can see there's quite a difference in the thickness of the product. Same product size, it's just that they've slimmed down the actual packaging because the lid on here is quite thick. So I got two. Um, there was only two available in the sale and I got Silky Rose which is a beautiful pink and I can't wait to try that out. And then the other one was Fluffy Peach and this is beautiful. I was so tempted to pick up another one of these. In fact, I may go back and actually pick up another one of these, depending on what it's like when it's on. I'll try it out tomorrow. It's a beautiful soft peach. I really love that. So I was really excited to see those, considering I'm getting quite into my um, cream blushes. I'm actually waiting for one to come from Topshop, which is the third one in the Topshop cream blush range. There's only three available. It's called Head Over Heels, and it's a, cro a coral colour. So I'm waiting for that one to come. As you know, recently I got the number 17 sorry number seven range um this is the blush it's absolutely beautiful i love this cream blush it's amazing it's a gorgeous color the vital brights range there's another one of these that i'm going to try and get at some point in the future but i wanted to give you a little update on this particular product and this is the highlighting powder 
and it is the Vital Enlightening Highlighter Powder. That's what it looks like. Now when you get it, it looks quite shimmery on the top and when you first use it, it is beautiful. What an amazing highlight. But after that first use, that is gone and you're basically just left with this kind of champagne coloured powder. It is very pretty. You can see there's not a huge amount of um, highlight, really. It's on the back of my hand. You'll not see it because the highlight capacity of this is very minimal. So if you really love your highlighters and you really like to have that lovely glow, this product is definitely not for you. I've, it does give you a faint glow, but I've actually just been using this um, as an all over face powder. Just kind of putting it all over, mainly forehead, down the nose, on the chin and the cheek area, and then using another highlighter for that dewy look that I like. But just kind of using this all over just to give my face just kind of a gentle glow, but nothing too shiny. It's got no sparkles, no glitter in there. So don't please be put off by this if you first see it and you're just looking for something incredibly subtle. This is the powder for you if you want really subtle. But if you really like your highlighters, this is not for you. I mean, it's quite an expensive product. I was lucky enough that I actually had a voucher and I got this with a voucher. I'm really pleased I didn't pay full price for this because I would have been so disappointed. I will use it, but like I say, I'm just actually using it as sort of a face powder at the moment. And I think that's about it. I don't think I've got very much else. Um, oh, I did get a couple of MAC things um, in the recent Naturally collection. I picked up the mineralized skin finishes. Can't see what I'm doing. So I got I got the two. I got blonde, which is this one, which is just basically the pinks. Um, it's really pretty. I love it. I don't know if you'll see that, but it's just a very shell pink kind of pale highlight. It's really, really lovely. I really haven't got many pink highlighters, so that was definitely an attraction for me. And then I got redhead also, because I am a redhead. <laughs> um, and that's basically this colour, and this is really beautiful because I don't definitely don't have a, a lot of these ones. This is more of a peachy copper toned highlight see the swatches just you're not gonna really make them out but they're here but this is these two are really beautiful highlight products and I love that they're both very distinct colors so I picked up those two sorry I'm such a neat freak I like to put things back in as I'm going and then I got two lipsticks from that collection also uh, both of them are now sold out as are mineralized skin finishes so I picked up two lipsticks as I said and they are in a perfect day which is just a lovely nudie pink very pale pink color it's really lovely actually i really like it it's got quite a lot of peach tones to it it very much reminds me of peach stock but not as thick or as concealer looking as peach stock so it's the same sort of color but a lot of a lighter formulation so that's nice so if you like peach stock but it was a bit too heavy for you or just looked a bit too pale a perfect day is a similar color family and is a lot lighter so it's really nice and then the other one that i got was sweet sunrise i love this i've been wearing this so much this is really this is lighter so this is a very nudie kind of colour, but I really love these nudie colours. I'll put it on. So as you can see, it just kind of takes out the pigment of your lips, really. It's just a really lovely pale pink colour. And I actually really like these kind of colours on me, especially if I'm doing a more dramatic eye. Today I've got quite heavy eyeliner on and I've used I used the Naked palette today actually to do my eyes um, but I've actually lined all the way around which I don't often do so it's nice just to have that very pale lip particularly since I've got um, peachy cheeks as well you don't want to go for a strong lip really 
so today I actually had a perfect day on because we actually went out to the pictures today and had a really good time went and saw Jack and Jill which was actually very funny and I wasn't intending on getting anything but I did pick up um, those few things at Superdrug and I also got some magic mushrooms because they're from the Valentine's range and they're going to be uh, going soon because they are limited edition so I did pick up a few of those, quite a few <laughs> and me and my daughter were going through them looking for the biggest chunkiest mushrooms you could possibly find so they have been put away because I absolutely love them um, and yeah I just love Lush I hadn't really been that into Lush when it first came I was like oh wow exciting and I went in and I didn't really get anything um, but I thought it was really lovely just it was quite expensive but then I bought one or two things for my daughter for Christmas and I did try something for myself and actually really liked it and the bubble bars have really been probably my favourite thing. Um, Aisha, my good friend Aisha Khan, she sent me a beautiful, it's like a Christmas Eve bubble bar that was like a blue colour. Oh, I wish they'd had some left when I went back in because the smell was amazing. But I've tried these magic mushrooms because she also recommended them to me. So thank you very much Aisha. And I absolutely love them. Oh, the smell. I love it when you first add it to the water and the water just goes bright like red pink. Gorgeous. So yeah. It's actually that I really like that as a lip colour. That's a nice colour. So yeah, I've been really loving the magic mushroom, so I went and picked some of those up. Um and I don't think I've anything got anything really else to show you really. Uh, I did get a couple of lip glosses, um which were in Sainsbury's and I actually went back to get a couple of more but they didn't have any left. They were selling off a load of makeup for £1.50. These are the colour Sensationals from Maybelline and they're the two peach colours. So one's quite pale and one's like a brighter corally peach. These are really lovely. I love the smells of these because smells of lip glosses and lipsticks is very important to me. Um, but these are lovely formulations and lovely colours and they're only one fifty each so that was a bargain and I went back this week but I didn't have any left so that's a bit unfortunate really but yeah so I'm having a bit of a lip gloss fetish at the moment and this is probably turning into quite a rumbly video now because I'm just kind of going off track I just I guess I kind of felt like I really wanted to make a video but I really didn't know what about so oh another thing I was going to mention is these babies I caught fat sticks um, these were in the Carmine box recently. Um, Carmine? Yeah, because Glossy Box got the pencil eyeliners. Ugh, horrible. Um, but Carmine got the fat sticks, and these are amazing. I've got the black one on today, actually, on the top of my eye. Uh, this one is Petrol Blue. I got this one with my friend Natasha, and I got a chocolate brown one and I've got the black one. The black one is amazing and that's what I've got on today. I love how creamy and soft they are. You can do thick or thin lines with these. The colours are amazing. You can blend them out and they last all day and I think that's just nice packaging as well. Quite nice, simple, classy looking um, and I'm hoping to get a few more colours because I'm actually after the satin top one which looks like a really lovely colour um, but these are fantastic so I'm definitely going to do another review, do some swatches for you. Um, and I might do a face of the day coming up and use one of these and just kind of show you how I use that. So actually today I really loved how my makeup went on in the day and that doesn't happen every day does it? Let's face it. Some days you put your makeup on and you might not even be going anywhere but it goes on and it just looks amazing and you think wow you know. <coughs> And it's quite annoying really, but today I was actually going out the picture Sam um, with my daughter and actually the makeup went on really nicely today and um, I was really pleased with myself and I thought yeah I think I might want to make a video because the makeup was actually going on quite nice. I really love these cream blushes and I feel like I'm now just rambling definitely because I'm going back over what I was talking about before. I'm really sorry. Um, but if you would like more of these rambly type videos <laughs> please give me a thumbs up. And I can definitely do that because I'm pretty good at rambling. So, I was also going to talk about, because I might as well put it in this video because I'm just basically rambling, um, this. This is Rimmel Scandal, is it Rimmel Scandalize? I get confused because there's so many of these. Volume Fash Scandalize Mascara Rimmel. 
I never buy anything from Rimmel. I'm not a Rimmel fan at all, <coughs> unfortunately. Um, but I got this because I just was looking for a new mascara to try. Yes, I know I've got about 13 in the drawer, so I must be mad. But anyway, um, I just thought, oh, I'll pick this up. Quite like the packaging. This mascara is horrendous. I hate it. It's just really, really sloppy and gooey and runny. And the brush is massive. So you would think, oh, such a big brush, you're gonna get loads on there. Not the case. I feel like I have to really work hard to get this stuff on. I've used it as much as I can because I don't like waste, but um, this is definitely heading in this direction towards the bin because I'm not happy about this at all. I might use it a few more times and then that is going in the bin where it belongs. So that's it. I'm definitely not gonna bore you anymore because um, yeah, I could definitely ramble on about a lot more. So that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> I'll see you all soon. Bye.